Welcome back. Rare earth minerals have been a hot topic lately. They are used in almost all of the electronic products we use each day, and they've become a crucial part of the U.S.-China trade talks that are being closely watched by investors all around the world. A small Canadian company, meanwhile, is developing a rare earths recycling plant in Kingston, Ontario. That company is Cyclic Materials, and its CEO, Ahmed Gaharman, joins us right now. Ahmed, thanks a lot for coming in. Great to be here, Paul. Thank so, you. So uh, this is an interesting story. You've r- raised some money uh, from uh, from companies including Amazon and Microsoft. You're active in Kingston, Ontario. That plant in Kingston, Ontario, I believe, is expected to start operating uh, sometime later this year. Is that Q1 correct? Q1 of next year. Yeah, t- uh, Q1 of next, next year. T- year. Tell us about it. What will it do? Absolutely. Very excited about this plant. We announced it yesterday. So this plant will receive the magnets and the fly products magnet, and then we recycle and put it back into the economy. This is going to be for the very first time that these metals are recycled. So Mm -hmm. this is a really new stream of secure supply Mm -hmm. for rare earth elements that never existed before. Uh, Given the uh, environment you just referenced, we are really being asked to go faster, so we will do that as well. Okay, the, the, you will recycle uh, rare earths recovered from things like electric vehicles, uh, hard disk drives, electronic bicycles, robots, wind turbines, MRI machines, and other industrial scrap. How large is, the, is that supply of feedstock? Really large. Mm-hmm. So from the, the early morning we wake up, the electric toothbrush all the way to our laptop that we close that evening and go to bed our our bait manufacturers with magnets in them. So we really, our life depends on magnets as we we, we go by. So there is large volume of end of life magnets available in North America. In Mm -hmm. fact, the volume of magnets available in in end of life products in North America makes North America the largest overground deposit of rare earth right. elements. Right. And we are tapping into that market. What's happening to that material now? What happens to electro- electric vehicle batteries now, for instance? Unfortunately, they end up in landfill. Not the batteries, but the electric motors that have the magnets in them. Right. Those are the things that we recycle. Right. Today, the magnet from those, met- uh, those products end up in landfill. The, the accurate number is that 0.2% of those magnets today are recycled. Wow. That's why I say this truly is a new stream of secure supply for these most critical metals on our planet. And how will your company acquire that feedstock? Uh, from all across North America? From all across North America. And act- actually, we today buy material and bring in material from all across the world. We, we buy material from five different continents. But majority of our activities today are in North America. But we are expanding really rapidly as well. And who will you sell your, what, what, what will be the finished product from your so, plan and who will, you, who will you sell it to? Absolutely, so uh, the, the key product we have is the rare earth oxide. This is the key ingredient. This is the flour if you are making pizza. So this is the key ingredient of uh, a lot of products. So we sell it to a company called Solvay in France. We have offtake agreement with them, but many more conversations in really accelerated fashion in the past very few months uh, are, are advancing in our company. We, other, we have other metals in our portfolio as well, such as copper. That goes to Glencore. It's a large go, uh, mining company. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and few other products, aluminum and other mm-hmm. products. But the key products we'll, we will be producing are copper and rare earth oxide. How big a player do you think you can be in the North American rare earths and, and magnets market? So I truly believe just recycling can sustain the total material that we need in North America for rare earth elements for the years to come. Uh, Our production will be uh, similar to production of three to four good sized rare earth mines uh, uh, when we are uh, in production in large scale. in other words, we truly will reduce the need for mining of rare earth sediments outside North America. You think you can produce as much as four mines would? We believe it will be there, yes. Why did you, uh, why, why Kingston, Ontario? What led you to, the, to that, uh, to that uh, part of uh, North America? Oh, uh, Kingston is a great place to build a company in. So we started Cyclic Materials in Kingston. But we stayed there for several more reasons. Universities, quality of colleges. Right. The support we receive from the city is next to nothing. Really amazing support we do receive in there. Access to Montreal, Toronto, North America, to New York and and other jurisdictions, those are all some of the 
reasons we decided to grow our business in Kingston. And actually, we are putting our flagship operation in Canada in Kingston. So that's going to be our R&D center mm -hmm. to support all the activities we have globally. It's going to be our uh, uh, engineering house. So a lot of our engineers will be based in there and provide support for our growth globally. And of course, it's going to be our key chemical plant as well. How have you financed yourself? So we have an amazing cap table of investors that have believed in our vision. We have Amazon, we have Microsoft, Jaguar, Land Rover, Hitachi. We have Arcturn, one of the premier investors in Canada on the venture side. We have Energy Impact Partners, BMW, many more. I don't want right. to miss some of the names. Right. Uh, those ones and the government of Canada have been supportive for us to grow right. in Canada. Those companies have effectively lent you money in, in a finance. Do they do they own portion? Do they own equity in the company? They do. So right. they are owner of a portion of the company for the money they they have put in into the company, mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully we will we will return really good uh, returns. For so them. they like the story. What is in it for them uh, aside from whatever financial return they would get, which you've got to think would be very modest proportionately for a company the size of Amazon or Microsoft. They're not in this for the financial return. What, what are they in this for? True. So let's let's pick one of those companies, Amazon. Uh, they have large data centers. Every, uh, uh, every time you send out an email, the email goes through a cloud system. Cloud is made of those hard disk drives to store the energy data. Every single of those hard disk drives has magnet in the corner. So really access to secure supply of these metals for all the products these companies either consume, such as Amazon, or produce, such as BMW, Jaguar, is one of the key reasons they have invested in cyclic materials. What comes next? What's the next uh, milestone for your company? Oh, we are uh, absolutely busy with a lot of conversations. We are growing really rapidly. So the next thing for us is to, to basically manage and plan for accelerated growth globally and uh, soon to, to, to go to Europe and other jurisdictions as well. Thank you very much for coming Thank in today. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Ahmed Gaherman is Chief Executive Officer of Cyclic Materials.